Hello Internet, I'm Jeff. And I'm Dan, and we are Bagpipe Ninja. And this is our co-op Let's Play channel. Alright, so basically we'll be uh, featuring mostly uh, co-op games. And um, yeah, to, uh, this is our very first video, and the first video we're doing is... Uh, well, I should say first video series is Dead Nation Apocalypse Edition for the PS4. Dun dun dun! Um, this is actually came out on the PS3 a few years ago, and they just recently released it for the PS4. So I figured, you know, it'd be a good, a good video to start off on. Because who doesn't love gratuitous amounts of zombie violence? I thought you were gonna say something else for some reason. What could I possibly say? You said gratuitous. This is a PG channel, Jeff. <laughs> no, it's not. We, we can change the rating on it. Alright, so let's get into it. Co-op game. New co-op campaign. Um, I don't know, do you want to do normal or grim? Because I don't think we can do... Yeah, we can't do morbid or undead. Grim. Uh, well, do you want to be Jack McReady or should I be Jack McReady? Uh, you can be Jack McReady. All right, cool. All about that scarlet. <laughs> it's been more than a year since the outbreak. In all that time, I've only come across one other survivor. If you get bitten, you become one of them. I, I love us. this picture right here, because this, no this implies so care. much. Like, just glad what did they just get done doing? We <laughs> Obviously, they're but changing their bandages. Clearly. Alive. Clearly. <laughs> if it came to that, we'd bite down on the capsules and be gone in seconds. Capsules. Not capsules, capsules. Capsules. But we'd run out of food and water, and our last barricade had fallen. Our last barricade had fallen. Like off the building? Or... There was an abandoned in... <laughs> truck at a local gas station. We had to get to it. That's the one thing I never got. Like, if you ever read the zombie, like, survival guide, they're like, if you're in a building of stairs, destroy the stairs, and the zombies can't get up the stairs. Well, what if the zombies are, like, at such a massive horde that they're literally piling themselves and then climbing up the, the other zombies? Kind of like in World War Z, the movie release, how they did that? Yeah. Same writer. Yeah, that's All true. right, guys, so just so you know, Jeff is blue, Hello. and I, Dan, am orange. Orange and red. Orange and red. You got a red jacket on. Well, I'm, I'm going with our flashlights. That's true. Which, where are they actually located? It looks like mine's coming out of my chest. Yeah. Kind of kind of like a shoulder, shoulder mounted flashlight. Shoulder, chest mounted light. How come yours is so much wider? Wider? Yeah, like your, your flashlight is wider. Oh, yeah. It's because I'm ready, big Jack ready, son. You're always ready to see things? Yeah, totally. Oh, All right. Just... If I remember right, yeah, we got knock that barricade out. Oh shoot! Oh hey, I'm dying already. Where's that? Off to a good start, folks. Yeah, I know, right? Where's that cyanide capsule when you need it? Uh... It's in your fake molar. Yeah, right. Like whoever thought that was a good idea. We're gonna put this deadly poison in one of your fake teeth, so if they want. Jack you in the face, you'll just accidentally die, so sorry about that. <laughs> Our scientists really thought this one through here. I'm not sure if you remember either, but if you hold down the fire button, at least on the rifle, you get to do a almost insta kill on most zombies, I think. Kind of like what it just said on the screen. Did it? Yeah. Sorry, I was busy <laughs> shooting zombies in the face. Priorities here. The, the oval says, come on. Uh, I don't know, did, did we ever play this on Grim before? Or did we just play it as some normal before? Uh, I don't think we've ever played it on Grim before. So, I remember we had a somewhat difficult time playing this before, so this will be interesting. What was that zombie holding? Uh, They're like, like holding hammers? It's a uh, street sign. It's a... Uh, oh! Uh, Are they just trying to tell us to stop? Or, you know, they, they're predicting the uh, previous Walking Dead episode. Maggie's new favorite weapon. Street, street size. size. It wouldn't be a stop sign either, because that's like way too big and unwieldy. You have to be like one of those do not park signs. 
So the only thing you can open is... Cars? Cars? Did we miss a car? Oh, well, other than the one that you blew up, I don't think we could get to it. Oh, no, that I was... Tried, I tried hitting a... Uh, uh, what is that trash receptacle thing? Dumpster? Thank you! Good job. Good job of words. Buy your weapons. <laughs> trash receptacle thing. So I'm just gonna go... Guess I'm not gonna go that much, but there we go. I was gonna say, I figured the rifle is probably the best way to start since, you know, we have unlimited ammo for it. it makes sense, right? Then why do we have unlimited ammo? For the rifle. Yeah, but why? Like, what, it's what's, like what's the scientific reason behind it? Oh. Uh, is it this, like, new prototype <laughs> rifle that, like, you could essentially, like, pick up any... Is it, like, a blunderbuss? <laughs> is it a blunderbuss? Can we, like, pick up anything and then load it into the rifle and it'll shoot it? Forks, spoons, knives, marbles. Sporks. Sporks. I don't think you changed your armor, Spork by the way. Spork rifle. Um... No, it, I mean, I think it fires way too fast for Blunderbuss for the first thing, and I think it's just like that generic, oh, here's your weapon, because if you try to melee everything, well, everything's tits up and you'll definitely die. <laughs> Calm your tits. <laughs> <laughs> We're going British today with slaying, except I just, I watched part of uh, Cockneys vs. Zombies while I was at work, and it's all... Rhyme this with that and that, and then you get a real sentence, which is a fake sentence because it's Cockney, which you need to watch. Kind, by kind of like how like bees and honey is how how you say money or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Or like even I think what I was watching a uh, Lockstock and do Smoking Barrels too, and like his reference for you know strong alcoholic beverage was like the Grand Italy of the Admiral's Navy or something like that. I'm like okay, I don't even know how you get that one, but. But yeah, uh, definitely. I like how if I shoot this zombie woman in the hand, her head explodes. It's, uh... I, I don't have anything for that, actually. Besides a grenade. Yeah, you definitely need to watch Cockneys vs. Zombies. I stopped because I knew you probably wouldn't see this. And then you probably get pissed, but like, oh, you watched it now. I can well, never I'm, watch I'm it ever kinda, again. I'm kind of pissed that you've already watched it. I watched like the first. I don't think I can watch it. Watch the you. first 15 minutes of it. Calm your tits. That's, that's 15 minutes that I will never be able to watch. <laughs> you don't. Hmm, okay. You cut me deep. <laughs> I I can't even think of a. So. Song. Oh shit! Hey. Why do we have? Why Why do all these cars have gold in them? Uh, it's like, <laughs> it's the currency exchange of the apocalypse, obviously. Because, uh, at least in horror games, for the most part. Because what, like, uh, in Resident Evil 5, like, that was, like, kind of the currency was, like, gold or whatever, golden. What the hell? You're just about... <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, uh, I'm not complaining. Like, yeah, in like the past Resident Evil series, like gold has always been like the currency for some reason. So maybe they kind of started it. Yeah, but like, I haven't like all the past. When was the last time a Resident Evil was taking place in America? Uh, six. Oh, which is the most? I never played that one. Yeah, I was gonna say what well, last one you played was probably five, right? Yeah. Yeah. Which wasn't even the. There's a lot of gold in that small yeah, chest. Uh, yeah, well, where where are these chests of gold coming from anyway? Who's like, dropping them? Like, is someone just like, oh man, my contingency plan for the apocalypse is to store chests of gold around the city in hopes that no one will actually open them and take them for themselves so they can buy grenades, flares, submachine guns, and rifle parts. And if you really think about it, I mean, like, who actually has this much amount of precious metals laying around their house? Right, like, who has 38... 1850 gold. I know I do. Dunkets, doubloons, pieces. Dunkets? Pieces of eight. Who, who uses dunkets? I don't know, pirates? That's a pirate thing, isn't it? Like a gold dunket? Dunket? Yeah. How do you spell dunket? D U N K I T? I'm gonna say there are pieces of eight for any Monkey Island lover fans out there. 
There's a game called Dunk It. Yeah, that doesn't count. <laughs> anyway. Our currency is this game called Dunk It, and it's encrusted in gold. I don't think that would fly. Be like, yo, shifty arms dealer, you want these, like, gold-encrusted video games? I know you do. Hey, did you buy your stuff? Yeah, you did. Did I buy what? Your guns and whatnot. Yeah. Because I just, like, swung the door open. Yeah, no, I'm... My, my rifle is sufficiently upgraded. Oh, man. Yeah, I, I remember this being a lot harder than when we played it, like, a year ago. I just... Wow, that was a dumb idea. Well, maybe you should stop getting hit. <laughs> maybe I should stop throw, throwing... That's, that's the best advice that I can give you right now, is just stop getting hit. I think the best advice I can give myself is stop throwing flares near the area that I'm trying to escape, so, you know, draw in all the zombies over there. Right, so next health thing we find I need to take advantage of. What is this green thing I'm picking? Uh, what green thing? Was green. Yeah, never mind, it's just a piece of trash. Oh, okay. Gold chest! Yeah. It's like, wouldn't this be incredibly awkward too to carry around, like, you know, at this point, 20,000, like, gold dunkets slash doubloons slash pieces of eight? Just constantly jingling and, like, drawing attention. Not to mention, like, over time, like, it's just get, the weight's just gonna add up. The weight would add up right now. Like, I mean, come on, gold? Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Again. Shit. Hazmat zombies! We, we killed my health power up, vending machine. How, how did we do that? I don't know, I think I accidentally shot it. I didn't think you could do that. Yeah, like, I think you, you know, like if you melee it, it shoots out like a health pack. But, like, if you shoot it, it's like, psh, haters be hating vending machines. I ain't gonna give them anything. Uh, let's see. Um, I have no items. Oh, you can actually budge the car a little bit? Can you? Oh, that must be a new... Thing. Oh, these things are pretty suck. Yeah, you, we, we can move... This woman that I'm playing as can't be more than like... Oh, wait, no, you can move trash receptacle things. Trash receptacles! Alright, here's my plan. I have... You have a grenade and a flare. I'm thinking I'm just gonna smash the door. How do I throw it again? A L one. All right. Anyway, or just hit both buttons at the same time, just in case. I'll throw I'm the flare over there. Yeah. And right. All right. One, two, three. There we go. Maze balls. There we go. That worked out a lot better than I was playing. What button was it, by the way, in case I decided to... It was L1. Okay, cool. That's yeah, right, because I get confused by this, because I'm used to, like, the fire button being, like, one of the... Well, it really does take a while to actually just, like, beat a zombie to death. I keep on thinking... Beat of... a zombie to, uh, to further death? True death. True death. To beat a zombie into true death. And I keep on thinking the fire button's one of the trigger buttons. Ah, hello. These zombies have guns, apparently. But don't know how to use them, thank god. Oh, come on. Dying! Can really use that cyanide capsule right about now. Uh, wait, hold on. There might be something down this way. I don't want to chance it because we're almost dead and the exit's over there. Oh, uh, yeah. Shoot, shoot. Uh, I'd back up a little bit if I were you. No! Oh. Okay, I don't care if there's anything cool over there. Okay. I cool. magically respawn! Oh, you didn't actually lose any of your. Your doubloons, dunkets, <laughs> Dublin pieces of eight, uh, whatever else we want to call it either. That's good. Uh, what the hell?
I can now carry two grenades on my grenade bandolier. I wish I had a grenade bandolier. Like, actually, like, in life. Just in life. In real life. Just, like, an oversized, like, shotgun slash generic ammo bandolier. But I would, like, fill it with juice boxes. <laughs> like, acidic juice boxes? No, just, like, a bandolier of juice boxes. How? You know, like, go to work with a bandolier of juice boxes. How old are you again? 25? <laughs> As you question your answer right there. Man, when the hell was the last time I ever had a, ju a jukebox? A juice box. <laughs> when was the last time you had a jukebox? Like a Wurlitzer? <laughs> I don't know, my dad's got one. So, last weekend? So, last weekend it was yours? For, like, never. For never. For never and ever and ever. Proto suit. You gonna stick with your proto suit legs? I am gonna stick with my proto suit legs. Grenade. Grenade. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right, I'm gonna flare it out. I'm gonna grenade it out. How's that sound? Come on, flare it out. Uh, uh, uh. You just suddenly got health, so. I instantly regret that decision I made. I run. Cause you're getting like, or buy weapons. That's cool. <laughs> hey, that... wait. Did you die and then respawn instantly? No. Then how did you get full health off, uh, like off the bridge right off the bat? I don't think I ever took any hits. Yeah, but your health was low. Oh, I don't know. Cause your health doesn't go back up when you're in there. It goes up when, once you leave, though. So, uh, you got beat to shit. Uh, that's no good. Yeah. <laughs> Run! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's a party over there, apparently. SMG ammo. SMG ammo. Considering none of us actually have like a SMG, that's awesome. But... Ah, crap. I regret using. Not having an SMG now? <laughs> or using like our grenades and special items and stuff like that. Okay, that's not so bad. And my cat should really stop trying to attack everything on this table. Well, the good thing is that the rifle goes through. That's true. Like, if you do the charge shot, it goes through bodies and soft tissue and whatnot. Flesh. Flesh. Uh, hello. I feel like... I feel like different zombies have different amounts of, like, health right now. Because I feel like these guys are going down really easily. But, you know, those army guys, they were taking a while to go down. Well, yeah. State of decay. State of decay. Take, take this trash receptacle. I like it when we run into it, that's when it goes boom. Oh yeah. But if you kick it or punch it, nothing. Nothing. Wait. If I yeah, like if I dash into it. No, I'm just, like I'm just literally walking into it and going boom. No, but like you could be like a complete idiot and just like sprint into it. Ugh. Give yourself a concussion during the zombie apocalypse. That's just what everyone needs. Right? This one has a car alarm. Well, I don't think it will do anything since the... Uh, Use the, the car as a bomb! Boy, but they don't care. Uh, let's see. Whoa! Runner! Yep, grab up. Okay, that was... That was slightly anticlimactic. And that car's gonna explode for no reason at all. Taking away all that. Oh, hey! <laughs> all that apocalypse gold. All that apocalypse gold. All, lo all those apocalypse. Oh, it was already open. <laughs> yeah. All those apocalypse uh, doubloons and dunkets and pieces of aid. Trudunkets? 
Dunk it? I don't know. Dunk it. Dunk it. The blueness. Take <laughs> America runs on Dunkets. <laughs> Just dipping pieces of like gold into your coffee and seeing if it's real by chewing on it. You mean you don't do that? Ah, uh, I mean, I like having real teeth and not fracturing all of them at the same time. Okay. Um, where the hell are we? <laughs> We're over here. Oh, let's see. Okay, let's put it as a, Oh, these both have car alarms, so that's useful. Oh. Screw it! <laughs> Wait, no! Don't get. Pieces of eight! Pieces of eight! How are you doing there? You know, just getting eaten alive. Thank god you got that cyanide capsule that you can use readily at any time. Or not so much. Okay, well we got two cars over here with alarms, so that's good. Whoa, where the hell these guys come from? Yeah. <laughs> that car. And I'm dead again. Oh god, come on. Yeah, thanks. I know my health's low. Eat your cyanide capsule, Jack McReady. Ah, I wasn't ready enough to eat it. <laughs> my, my name fails me. Where does this put us back? Oh, God. <laughs> I regret playing this on the rim now. Thanks, Dan. I don't. Okay, I think this is what we were supposed to do in the first place. Let's shoot those barrels. Oh man, you know what? What, yeah. Jack McReady? Scarlet Blake, we don't have any of our items we had from before. Except now we do, so... I take back my previous... concern statement. Jack McReady, did you know that the SMG is ideal for mowing down waves of enemies? Yes, Scarlet Blake, I did. Oh, come on. Oh, heads up. <laughs> Just mm. running around in carnage, huh? Zombie gumbo. Uh. Uh. That would just be so rotten. What makes a gumbo a gumbo? Uh. I... Gee, Jeff, how come you don't know your Creole cooking? <laughs> Gee, Dan, why do you know your cooking? What, why do I know my cooking? Yeah. Since I can't remember the last time you ever cooked anything. Hey. I made a peanut butter and jelly sandwich yesterday. Well, good for you. Last time I checked, that's neither a souffle or gumbo. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna let myself get hurt and just take this health bag just to be a dick. Yeah, you are a dick. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Scarlet Blake, a.k.a. Dick. I can't... Yeah, well, you're Jack McReady. You should always be ready. I think we proved that clearly I'm not. Everything's going downhill really fast. Yeah, I see that place. Whoa! You threw a grenade at yourself. Uh, door, 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 door. Alright, hang on. Oh my god! That zombie was not dying. Oh. 
didn't kill him, it just knocked him off the fence. Okay, let's see. Alright, considering we're both in dire straits here. Uh, guess charge up your sniper beam. <laughs> Yeah, that's... that's a okay, well, I got a flare and a yeah, grenade. Yeah, you got a flare and a grenade, actually. So we're not too horribly screwed. Oh, shit, I'm gonna come back. Whoa. I'm back myself into a corner. Shoot. Ah. Balls, balls, balls. Activate that car! Why am I stuck? I don't know, but we'll let that do its thing. Okay! God, I cannot see anything right now. Well, if you would take that ridiculous blindfold off, this whole thing might be a little bit easier. I, I'm, I live for the challenge. I kind of wish I had another grenade. I kind of wish... Yeah, what's with your non bandolier of grenades? Oh god, run. <laughs> okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, Alright, thanks guys. Feel free to leave any kind of comments at the below the video and make sure to check us out at Bagpipe Ninja Facebook and Twitter. Alright, see you next time. Yeah, well, that'll be someone we'll have to check. <laughs> anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Just say it. I can cut it in. It's fine. Uh, all right. Thanks, guys. Feel free to leave any kind of comments at the below the video, and make sure to check us out at Bagpipe Ninja Facebook and Twitter. All right. See you next time. Oh, <laughs> I can read. <laughs>